Welcome back guys to a brand new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a young face like this into a more elderly face like this. It's going to be an epic like transformation so let's begin. <coughs> okay guys I have 30 minutes of like time here to spend with you guys so I just thought let's get started. We're going to sculpt an old people today or elderly people. It's a better word maybe. Um, yeah so I'm just going to turn this young uh, like guy here into an older one so yeah let's get started okay guys so just thinking the first thing people often forget is to change the proportions and that's the first thing we're going to do so elderly <laughs> proportions is more like you should pushing the jaw up like that you see the difference looks a lot older the skeleton structure is changed and here I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit so the skeleton structure becomes kind of like this and very very pushed forward and the same goes for the like head it's gonna become a little bit less perfectly round and a little bit more wobbly shaped something like that and then the ears of course I'm gonna make a little bit bigger ear something like that pushing this upward a little bit I think and then here I'm just gonna start with changing the nose a little bit making it a little bit bigger because a lot bigger actually because it's gonna make it and uh, make him look a lot older and then just over exaggerating this like shape here something like this and then right here just yeah making it a lot bigger the nose something like that yeah, he still looks pretty young right now but we haven't added any wrinkles or anything like that but a very common mistake is that people just add wrinkles and things He's gonna look older. Sure, he's gonna look older, but he's not gonna look elderly. You need to really add volume and change the proportions first before you add all of these details. So, yeah, that's what we are going to do. Then, right here, just adding a little bit more volume here. I'm gonna add this volume here. This uh, fold right here they go downwards like this and then right here just like making these shapes more clear all these shapes that are in like human you wanna over exaggerate some of the shapes actually a lot of shapes but keep those like really like young features you wanna subtract from the young features you know so yeah here making it look a little bit older by just adding more volume like this and removing this like cavity here or like yeah just removing something like this all right, and then here you're just gonna add some bony landmarks right here, you know. All right, and just keeping the shapes, and then right here, just gonna add all of these like wrinkly shapes. You see, I'm just adding them one by one. You see how real quickly it's starting to look a lot older it doesn't look quite good right now but here adding this like big fold or wrinkle i don't really know what i'm supposed to call it just adding this making him look a lot older young people can be like really clear the muscles and stuff don't like over exaggerate the muscles keep them very like 
yeah, not defined, if you understand what I mean. Right here. I'm going to add this shape here. As you can see, like, looking a lot older, right? And then, just going to show you guys a little bit better. Here it is, like, shapes like this. That follows... If you look at the skeleton, the skeleton is like that, right? And then the skin goes like this. It's not going to be like perfect, like, or more. P you don't want that perfection look like you want in a younger person. Alright. Then I'm just going to very, very quickly indicate nose. Something like this, and then this like huge fold kind of here. Something like that. And then, of course, we want to create some eye bags, right? Because an old person, they gotta have eye bags, right? So I'm just gonna create some very huge eye bags to really exaggerate the features of him looking elderly. And of course, I'm looking at reference. Reference is key to create. Something that looks like kind of realistic or gonna look somewhat okay, you know? Something like this. Then here, just adding this shape here, over exaggerating it a little bit. Something like that. Just gonna add here some volume. Then we also want to create some type of huge fold or wrinkle that goes like over the eye like this. And you can really like have fun with this and just over exaggerate it a lot because this is supposed to be an old person. So don't be afraid to over exaggerate to really make the point clear that this is an older person. Just gonna fix the topology a little bit. Something like that. I'm usually just smoothing it out a little bit. And make sure that nothing is like like around the eye, it's not gonna be as sharp. So you don't need to be too careful with that. I think sculpting older people is very free. You can Yeah, you have a lot of freedom. It's a lot of fun. Somewhat like this. Here, just adding more volume to this shape. You can see I'm just, I'm just exaggerating some shapes, and adding more and more volume. Something like this. Then here we're gonna add the wrinkles later. I'm just indicating the shapes first, because the shapes needs to be there before you add those crisp and sharp details because otherwise the shape's not gonna work it's gonna look very like yeah i'm gonna show you here if we add this like oh, give me one second adding this like that doesn't look super great but if we add a little bit of volume underneath and above it's going to look a lot better and then usually just smoothing it out a little bit. Something like that looks a lot better than, per se, that. This looks like you have just carved in. This feels like it's been there a while. Yeah, so think about that. Alright, we're not going to do those wrinkles right now. Something like this. Okay. See, I'm just creating these eye bags, and when creating older people, really think about you do not need those perfect shapes. Like, here you don't see me like making these perfect round shapes like this. I'm going a little bit like this, you see? Not making those perfect shapes. You don't want it to be perfect. 
and a lot of old people are very very skinny because the uh, fat pads are like becoming smaller and smaller so it really indicates that you don't see a lot of like fat you know like right here I'm just gonna indicate the bone a little bit better like so now you can see the bone there pretty well maybe a little bit too much right now but something like that you can see so right here just adding this volume yeah you can see it's starting to look a lot better and right here I'm just wanna move this backwards a little bit really like exaggerate the nose make it a lot lot bigger maybe not like that but something like so yeah just make the nose a little bit too big is better than having it too small because the nose is really gonna help with making it look like it's an older person all right yeah so just adding more volume and as you can see I'm not just adding wrinkles everywhere I'm following the anatomy so if you want more like anatomy tips on the face go look on my like face tutorial on how to sculpt faces or something like that it's called not really sure um yeah okay all right and here it's gonna pull this downwards but i want this wrinkles to be a lot more like that yeah all right so let's start to refine this a little bit I want this old hair to be a lot more visible. You can see how I'm really wanting to exaggerate this. You see, I'm just exaggerating all the different shapes that I can find to over exaggerate. Because the more shapes you over exaggerate, the older the person is going to look. Usually, don't over exaggerate too much, of course. Because then it's just going to look yeah, very, very messy. Something like this. Alright, and then just here. It's going to start with... Like, carving in the wrinkles. And then adding more volume around it if it's needed because now we created all of this like volume so now we can just carve in the wrinkles nothing special you know just print on here and just creating this a little bit of volume just to indicate the lip a little bit better and you want really like thin lips because that's gonna make it look gonna make the person look a lot older something like this and then just thinking right and of course some kind of like wrinkles on the neck here I'm not gonna do the backside of the face because we're just focusing right here right now you know so yeah and here just adding a little bit more volume as you can see adding this volume here makes the lip feel makes it feel more what's the word in English 
Yeah, it looks a little bit more like saggy and old. So that's why I'm adding those shapes there, if you can see. Then right here, I need these shapes. I think it's so fun to sculpt elderly people because you can just like, you have so much freedom to add wrinkles and shapes and so much, so much fun. So yeah, I'm not, I don't do it too often, but it's really fun. Something like this. Then here, just adding some texture here, you know. Using the texture of the brush and just adding the texture. And right here, yes, gotta add the wrinkles. And of course, you can go really like in depth and really like just adding a lot of wrinkles like this, you know, making it look really el elderly, but a little bit more careful than what I created there. Right here. And the wrinkles are just following the shapes. You see, I'm not making wrinkles like this. Or like this. I'm making them organic. I'm, and I'm not carving the wrinkles like this. Going like, here is one part of the wrinkle. Here is another. And here's another. You see, I'm splitting up the wrinkles into multiple smaller wrinkles. So one big wrinkles have a lot of small wrinkles that push the reality of the wrinkle, you know? Then here, something like this. And I'm just thinking, here we can just add a little bit of volume. Just gonna take a look here. Can just make the mouth look a little bit more like yeah, like that. That looks pretty fine. Mm. Of course, you can like add huge shape here if you would like, but I'm not gonna add that because I think it looks a little bit easier, and more realistic like this. Then making sure that the wrinkle still has the correct shape and volume. You can see here was completely wrong. Went inwards. It's supposed to be more like this. So that you can just go back and fix these mistakes that easily happens. So you don't leave them there, because it's going to make it look very unrealistic. Alright, and just adding some extra volume underneath the eye to blend it better. It works underneath here with the wrinkles. Just got to blend it. Something like that. And then right here. Adding these shapes. Alright, just gonna take some more geometry. Smooth this out that we already have. Yes, somewhat like this, you can see here. Smoothing away all of those like too sharp stuff to just be able to really just focus on the wrinkles. You see here, I'm just using a tablet and just very, very gently just sculpting in some very light wrinkles. And as I said before, I'm not doing something like that. That does not gonna look good. I'm going in multiple parts like this and just building the wrinkle up. Here just here you can see I'm just building the wrinkle up to make it look more organic. Something like that. And you can see here we can just just pull the wrinkles up. That's kinda like the fun part. It's not too difficult but it's a little bit of work sometimes. Just adding them makes such a huge difference. And here, just adding some weird eye shape here. You can see how much the like character has changed since we made him a lot older. 
something like this. So, yeah, make. Whoa, sorry guys. Let make sure that you exaggerate this feature here and making the mouth more pushed like this. See, it looks a lot younger, like more like here and older there, right? You can probably see the difference if I exaggerate it. So pushing it forward like that is really gonna help help him look a lot more elderly. Alright, I think this is starting to look fine. Just gonna add a little bit of wrinkles like this. And of course if you want to do this like really really super good, go really and look at a lot of reference and going to fill all of these wrinkles here with a lot of like volume. I do not have time for that, so I'm not going to do it, but you get the idea, right? So, something like this, just adding wrinkles. Something like that. Right here, just adding some very, very basic. Yeah, you see, these wrinkles look finally bad. But you can just, if you start off with the volume as we did before it's gonna look way better but i'm just carving them in they look fine from a little bit of distance but you can see here this looks this is not okay you see you need to add a volume first and then the wrinkle right you need to add a volume that's super important it's really important for me guys that you know that before you're leaving this video right because that's one thing that took me a long time to learn. Alright, and here just adding this. Adding a lot of shape. Like this. Then just something like this. Yeah, I don't know. Just adding these wrinkles. It's a lot of fun. I actually love adding wrinkles. It's it's so free, you know. Here, just gonna very, very quickly add a little bit more volume here. So I'm just exaggerating the ear shapes. Here, we can just see here, just exaggerating, exaggerating all of these shapes. I do not have too much time to spend on the ear, but look at the reference if you really on something that looks really good look at a lot of reference but just adding these wrinkles here around the ear makes it look a little bit better I think I'm just gonna try to make it go nicely together with body something like that and here just trying to indicate some wrinkles just gonna use the standard brush to build some of these volumes up real quick. See that volume? Yes, build it up a little bit more. So you can really easily add a lot of volume with the damp standard. Not damp standard, sorry. The standard brush and still keep all those nice shapes that you created. So you have a lot of freedom. Right, and here just. You see, I'm just over-exaggerating the shapes to make him look a lot older. And here you can see, like, the jaw. Bring the jaw inwards a little bit. going to make him look older, because he's not going to have really too well different jaw, right? Or jawline. Just don't make those, like, really crisp and sharp features, as you can see, like, uh, younger people. Younger, how's my English today? Not very good, I know. But, um, yeah, so, just compare them and see what's the difference. And that's a really good, like, thing to do, to learn. Something like so. Yeah, that looks pretty old, if I can be honest. 
starting to look a lot older. We're just gonna do some final tweaks here and then yeah. Then we have our final result, you know. This wrinkles is all about adding contrast. So if you want people to look at the eye, add them the most contrast around the eye. Add most wrinkles, the most sharp wrinkles, but don't make every wrinkle like this. You see? Have as you can see here, I have one really sharp, and then here I have a little bit less sharp wrinkles around the sharp wrinkle. Because if you have all wrinkles sharp, no wrinkle becomes sharp. Because you want to have contrast in your, like, your nose where to look. That's pretty important. So... Right, let's do a final wrinkle here, kinda. That's what I see on my reference. And then here, just adding these volumes. See, this is not gonna look super great out right now, but yeah. Looks fine. Then here you can see we have like really a lot of wrinkles you need to look at a lot of reference to really capture them really make them look nice you know wrinkles underneath the nose there and here just filling in the lip a little bit making sure that you can see where the lip like ends or begins yeah something kind of like this I think this is gonna be good enough for this video guys so I really hope you liked this video if you did please help the channel out it really helps me so I can spend more time to create better videos and more videos for you guys and otherwise yeah I'll see you next time